A number of years ago, oil prices went as low as I think $20 a barrel. And when it was that low, major oil companies like I think Chevron and others said we can't afford to drill anymore in either, let's say, Alaska, the North Sea, other places because we need to have oil at $70 a barrel to make drilling uh, affordable and, and profitable. Uh, has that come back now that oil prices are up? Are people now drilling in major projects around the world to kind of get oil that's going to take four or five or ten years to build and, and drill, or is that not happening again? We're seeing some of that happen again, certainly. Uh, what has really changed in the last decade, David, is the uh, what we see in the U.S. in the Permian Basin, but also in some other uh, parts of this country and in other countries now, is uh, the ability to produce oil and gas from uh, rock that is very, very dense, very hard, and historically has not been very productive. But with directional drilling and the ability to, to fracture these formations now, uh, we're seeing the ability to produce from areas that we couldn't before and at prices that are, are lower than some of these very complex, difficult projects. And so the need for the, uh, the ultra deep water, the Arctic, um, has been reduced as we see these other resources come in at a, at a lower cost. So how many employees does Chevron have? About 36,000 in about 100 different countries. And how much oil do you produce a day? A little, little bit over 3 million barrels of oil equivalent per day. So mostly oil, some gas, and we convert the units on the gas to give you the energy equivalent. So about 3 million barrels a so day. So the United States produces 10 million barrels a day or something like that? Closer to 12. 12, okay. So you're producing about 25% uh, of the oil produced in the United States, more or less? As a company, you could say that uh, our U.S. production is about 1.2 million barrels a day. So we're, we're less than 10% of, uh, of U.S. production. So right now, the United States is more or less energy sufficient compared to, let's say, the 1960s or 70s when we imported a lot of oil. I think we produce, we probably consume 10 to 12 million barrels a day. Mm, closer to 20. We, we consume 20 million barrels a day and we produce roughly, you're saying, 12. So we're importing the equivalent of about 8 million barrels a day, which is better than it used to be. Mm -hmm. Where are we mostly importing that from? Is it from OPEC countries? Canada. Our neighbors uh, are, the, are the largest uh, you know, suppliers of oil. I mean, you, you, know, you heard all, remember all the controversy around the Keystone Pipeline. We're a big uh, customer of Canada, who's a, a, a large resource country right well, next door. How do you door. get that oil down here? There are other pipelines that have been built uh, in, in years gone by. There's sometimes it flows by rail, uh, and some of it comes by ship. Uh, you can bring it down uh, through pipelines into ports along the west coast, for instance, or in, into the Atlantic Basin and, and bring it by ship.